Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Love You Too release blog hop with Simon Says Stamp. And I have a fun project to share with you featuring a new stamp set that just came out in the Love You Too release called Forest Scenery. And here she is in all her glory. This is one of those stamp sets where they're all silhouettes. They're all solids. So we're gonna stamp it up today. Okay, I have a panel that is trimmed to fit one of the new delicious mini slimline cards. The envelopes measure three and a half by seven and a half. So I've got my panel trimmed smaller than that and I'm stamping with Altenew Mountain Mist. Gonna be using Altenew inks. I love that they come in families, like groupings of four. So you can get four shades of the same color family. So that was Mountain Mist. This is Volcano Lake, which is just a smidge darker than that Mountain Mist color. So I'm kind of going lightest, working my way to the darkest shade. And I'm also staggering the sizes of trees. There's a lot of different tree sizes in the forest scenery stamp set. So you can kind of stagger, stagger the trees and gradiate the colors. Now, what I was really hoping is that um, you would be able to see some of the overlap when I stamp these trees overlapping. You could see that overlap because to me, that's really the magic. Uh, sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. You just, you know, you never know when you get lucky. But I'm gonna make a nice little row of trees. It's kind of cool tones, if you will. I thought about doing another card with warm tones row of trees. That would be beautiful. You know what else I think would be fantastic is a row of autumn colored trees. You feeling me? Oh yeah, I'm digging that one. Even though I know that these are probably what are these evergreens or pine trees? I don't know. They probably don't change colors, but we're not going for realism. We're going for beauty. Okay, so now I'll start with another color family. This one here is moss, which is a very dark green. And now I'm gonna work my way dark to light. So it's like the lightest on the sides and in the center, the darkest. You know what I mean? There's a method to the madness. Okay, let's talk about air fryer. Uh, I mentioned before, my son Bo got me an air fryer for Christmas and we got him an air fryer. So we've been trying all kinds of things. I think I've used it almost every single day since I got it. I don't know, it gave me a new lease on life. You know, sometimes you get in a rut with the cooking and you just need a new appliance to just give you a little kick, a little kickstart. And uh, so last night I tried uh, like Chinese, like stir fry. I mean, I know it's not really stir fry, but it's a mock version. I chopped a bunch of different vegetables, threw them in. I did have to make rice on the stove and a little, little teriyaki sauce, but throw that all together, bada boom, you got a nice little bowl of Chinese. And I felt like it was kind of on the healthy side. Anywho, I also did, I'm probably not gonna pronounce this correctly, croquettes. You ever heard of croquettes? Uh, is it, or is it croquet? I don't even know, but they're like, they come in a bag, they're frozen. They're like fried balls of mashed potato. They're like crispy on the outside and inside they're like mushy mashed potatoes, like divine, it's heavenly. Family loves them, takes like eight minutes to cook them. I'm here for that. I'm here for anything fried potato, sign me up. Now, Bo, what he does most of the time, by the way, I'm stamping a deer, and he likes to do sweet potato. He cuts up a sweet potato, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and he makes like sweet potato fries. You know, he's one of these athletes that likes to do the complex carbohydrate, and uh, yeah, he's all healthy. Yeah, I think he also did salmon in there once too, so um, he's doing the healthy, I'm doing the non. We're both doing it though. Okay, this is the reverse sympathy sentiment set. And I use one of the sentiment label dies to cut out that little sending love. And I trim it out and I'm gonna pop it up. By the way, I popped up my panel on an ivory card base. Just a smidge larger, but still enough that it fits in one of those mini slimline envelopes. So here you have this card, it's finished. I think this would make a superb sympathy card. Here's one of the mini slim lines. Just want to show you how it fits like magic. I'm loving this new size. You know, it's kind of like the air fryer. It gave me a new lease on card making. Sometimes you just need a new card size to kick it up a notch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the rest of the Love You Too release blog hop with Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sending you love. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.